The Attorney General and Minister of Legal Affairs, Mohabir Anil Nandla, has responded to what he deemed misplaced criticisms of the proposed amendments to the Representation of the People Act. A.G. Nandlal says many calls being made publicly at this time are for things not intended to be done via the current proposed amendments. In his weekly broadcast of Issues in the News on Tuesday evening, Minister Nandlal responded to a series of criticisms, one in particular being that the proposed amendments failed to address the fundamental issues affecting elections in Guyana. The criticism is misplaced and has no basis in this equation. They call for a different political system. The political system that we have in Guyana is one that is provided for in our constitution. The supreme law, we can't change that as a singular political party or as a government. We do not have sufficient number of votes in the National Assembly to do so. And we said that from the commencement of this exercise. So this organization that is calling for a change in the political system is misguided in its call because this exercise cannot deliver that. Minister Nandalal reiterated that what these groups fail to realize is that many of the concerns they have raised are constitutional matters and cannot be addressed by the amendments currently being proposed as these do not seek to amend the constitution. The AG expressed concerns of silence of many of these associations after the March 2, 2020 general and regional elections. For five long months, when the constitutional right of a majority of the citizens of this country was under siege after the 2020 elections until the 2nd of August when the government was sworn in, I can't recall hearing a single word of condemnation or criticism coming from this organization. Meanwhile, in response to calls for the modification of the registration of voters law, the AG reminded everyone that the government has already expressed commitment to amending and making these proposals public. And as I said, we are going to do that, but we are going to do that in a second installment of changes that will be proposed. And we have made this clear over and over again, but these people don't listen. They want to see themselves, I suppose, in the newspapers saying something because apparently it is fashionable. It is fashionable to be attacking the government of the day. 